Hey everybody, this is Austin. This is going to be another video on urban exploration, but this video is going to be actually kind of, um, you know, my kit, my, my setup, everything I take with me, um, which is pretty much this bag. So, let's get into it, I guess. Uh, this bag and most of its content was... Uh, bought at Walmart. Um, as you can see, this bag is pretty dirty, uh, and I'll I'll open it up and take everything out off camera. But uh, I think this is the uh, field strike, or I'm sorry, field line tactical. Uh, Walmart sells it. Uh, they might not sell it anymore. Doesn't come with the uh, the little American flag patch, nor does it come with uh, this. Th this right here was actually a present for Christmas. Uh, it's a piranha, pretty much a multi-tool. Um, and if you're gonna customize your bag or your gear, I know some people like to wear the uh, kind of like the police vests, so they have all sorts of pockets and. And whatnot on them. They got Molly in this. This has Molly on it too. You know, so you, you you can add stuff to this. You can add patches to it. Um, it's also got a little water bottle holder, and you can put a hydration tube on it. Uh, my hydration tube on the last uh, outing, I guess you could call it. And we we're exploring the factory and beacon. Somehow, um, the little mouthpiece came off and started squirting water everywhere. So, I gotta get a new one. But it's a single strap, which is, you know, kind of nice. Uh, if you're running, it doesn't, you know, like hump your back as much as like a double strap kind of design does they tend to they tend to jump around a lot this one not so much um you know it's a little bit more uncomfortable if you got a lot of gear on it in it but um yeah it's faster to get on faster to get off and I don't know I like it and, and by the way back, back to the patch if you want to get a patch and you want to put it on your gear you got to make sure it's not a, um, there's a name for it. It basically means it reflects when hit with a flashlight. A lot of soldiers, um, use them. So, you know, when they're in a firefight, uh, and their buddy, uh, you know, shines a light on them, they see that and they don't shoot them. But, anyway, that, that's the basic bag that, that I bring. It's a field line tactical. You can get them at Walmart. You can get most of the things in here at Walmart. Um, you know, these are the clothes I wear. A pair of beat up boots. I don't wear these really anymore. I got a dark blue shirt because I have a black one. And I got the you know, a pair of camo pants. If it's colder out, which is a little bit better, I got a uh, black hoodie. And, um,. And this is pretty much my everyday carry kit. Um, it's a Bushnell light. You're going to find that uh, actually all of my lights are Bushnell. I really like the brand. They're a really good brand. And you can get these at Walmart too. Um, here's a Kershaw blade. Really good knife. Really a high quality blade. My wallet and my cell phone. So... Anyway, let me uh, get everything unpacked and show you guys what's actually in the bag. Alright guys, back again with a, uh, with the other part of the video. This is everything I carry. Um, but back to the bag for a minute. I'm going to just show you how it kind of opens. It opens in a really cool way. Uh, first of all, you have a very small uh, front pack, pack that you can... Uh, you know, put things in, obviously, whatever you want. But this 
get clam sh shells open. I think that's the term for it. Um, you got a little compartment here, a little compartment here, and obviously the whole thing. You got uh, this is actually where I keep my batteries, and once again, make the clamshells open. You got some elastic um, that you can put things on, and you got a little compartment here. This is where I keep my batteries and things I need to get to immediately. And then the main compartment, also, clamshells open. You got two little compartments here. You got big compartment in here and then you can unzip this uh, little mesh stuff and this clips in so if you like put something in here th this will secure it um, and then on the back this is where your hydration pouch will go into and it comes out right here uh, I forgot to mention another thing I like about this bag it actually has a, um, if you have this zipped up, it has a side carry handle as well as obviously the top one. So anyway, that, that that's it for the bag. Uh, let's get into the kit. The camera we run is this, the SJ4000. We don't have the money for a GoPro, so we use that. Um, interesting thing about it is it will take GoPro accessories. This headband, headband mount is a GoPro. Chest mount, GoPro. This little flexible tripod thing um, is meant for GoPro. I think this even has the logo on it. No. Oh well. So, the camera we run is the SJ4000, the lights we run, as I said before, are brushing out, this is their um, 350 lumen one, this is, I guess it doesn't have a name on it, I take three of them, just in case, 350 lumen, 600 lumen, and then this is a 250 lumen, it's got your high, your low, it's got a red light and a, uh, they call it a blood tracker light, which is good for, um, you know, when you're exiting a building and you need a little bit of light, but you don't want to, you know, get seen. This is a, uh, this is actually a new pickup. It's a Scorpion 2, we haven't really fielded this yet. But uh, what this is is um, it's got a radio on. You can charge your um, you know anything that takes a USB port. You can, like I said, get radio on it. You even got a little little flashlight, which isn't that bad. You know, it is what it is. This charges via solar power. You could plug it into. Like your car on the way to your you know, destination, you charge it that way, and you can also uh, wind it. So I keep this in case we gotta charge something. I also have another charger right here. This is a little stick charger. These are great to have. You can carry a lot of them, and they do charge quite a bit. And you know, obviously the cords that we use a pen in case we need to write something down. G-Shack watch. I've had this thing for years. Never wear it, but I keep it. Batteries and spare batteries. Can never have too many batteries. The lens cleaning cloth. Uh, this is just another way to mount a camera. Gives you a uh, really good sound quality, and it'll. It's got a little clip. It'll clip anywhere. Mechanic gloves. Um, with um. This is a glove guard, I believe. You can buy this for like twenty dollars. It clips onto your, uh, you know, your belt loops. Keeps your gloves with you at all times. Um, yeah, when you're in abandoned buildings, sometimes there's glass, sometimes there's, 
you know, rusty shit, shit with edges on it that, uh, you know, can cut you or, you know, it's, it also has, like, asbestos and, and whatnot. You don't really want to mess with that stuff, so good pair of gloves, always recommended. Some gum, because, you know, why not? And this is an extra back cover. This one is uh, waterproof in case it starts to rain. Here's that piranha towel can you about. Little pliers. Knife. Phillips and uh, flathead. And a adjustable wrench. And anyway, that's pretty much it for the kit I bring. Other than, you know, like my my regular flashlight, pocket knife, cell phone, and wallet. Uh, this is it. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, we will be adding a few more things to it. Um, another light and some extra spare batteries. Uh, I got those coming in the mail soon, so hang tight and wait to see those. Anyway, that's about it for today. See you guys later.